Hey everyone, welcome to a very quick tutorial about how to take a screenshot using VBScript. Now I've literally trawled the entire trillion billion pages of the internet almost to find a solution for this and while there are some out there they seem to be they seem to be partial solutions and um, most don't work they're incomplete they haven't been answered etc now by the power of the internet and a little help from VB script forums I've managed to put together a script that I know works and I'd like to share that with you and I've done a blog post which I'll link to in the description as well but obviously on the website uh, or the blog cyreath.blogspot.com uh, one of the most recent posts will be about this um, because I'm really really pleased that I've managed to crack this now there's a caveat sometimes it doesn't work I have been all over uh, five different test systems of different types so a Windows 7 uh, desktop uh, my super powerful Windows 10 uh, gaming system that I'm recording this on uh, my Surface device uh, and another couple of Windows systems on the client site and it works on all but two now exactly why I don't know <laughs> I'm afraid I've looked at the you know the browser version uh, the security settings uh, the Windows script host version etc and they're the same pretty much um, and we have that interesting situation where it does work on different systems and doesn't work on similar systems so I'm I'm not sure is the answer and I apologize for that however that being said I will show you the code and I'll show you a video of it working just so I uh, I can prove that uh, and hopefully you'll be able to either find the issue maybe you leave a message or you'll work out um, you know why it's working and you can crack on with this so let's look at the script <clears throat> the first thing you'll notice is that I've written uh, each I guess independent block of code in a little sub and that's mainly for testing purposes all of them are called down here in sequence but obviously you could just remove all of these subs and end subs and just run it as a block of code but I like to do that just for testing purposes but also uh, when I include it in other VB scripts then I can call out pieces of code should I wish so things like the you know while I is busy for example I can reuse however in this example the purpose is to open IE go to Google screenshot that save it down into MS Paint and then close the two windows IE, IE and MS Paint off and that's what we see here so here we are option explicit always use that and here is here is us declaring our variables the sub wait for load is as simple as that so while our object IE is busy just wait for 500 I've used very uh, explicit weights here as well um, just because it's easier uh, to control the opening and closing and um, activation of windows so this wait for load is a, is a uh, subroutine that you can use you know, in pretty much everything if you're for example here uh, using IE so while IE is busy wait 500 milliseconds the open paint is guess what we open a Windows script host and we open MS paint and when we do that we wait five seconds and some of these times are I guess are a little long but I just it depends on the responsiveness of the system so the first thing we do is we open paint when we see the video we'll see paint open first of all and then we open IE and go to Google so here we are again create another object and navigate to uh, Google google.co.uk in this case via Internet Explorer so we'll see Internet Explorer open and we'll see it navigate to Google however it will be behind uh, paint if I remember correctly even though these run in sequence uh, it was a curious thing that I, I kept seeing that happen again another quirk of VB script the next one we do is we activate IE so obviously IE is open here and then we do an app activate using the Windows script host shell uh, command not uh, you know uh, object IE dot app, app activate etc this was the uh, the configuration that worked slightly counterintuitive but that's fine now a very very important thing is that the title of that active window for the app that you want to activate must be absolutely correct it must be exactly as shown on the application that you want to activate otherwise it will not work I've tried wildcards etc and it doesn't do anything 
So that is what it will be. If you navigate to Google, it will be Google space dash space Internet space Explorer capitalized, etc. in that way. And if you go to your own website, obviously you want to capture the, the title of the application. A way to do that is to go to uh, Task Manager and look at exactly how it's written there and copy that down. So we've, uh, we've opened Paint, we've opened IE and gone to Google. We've made uh, IE uh, the active application, i.e. it's in front of everything. We then take a screenshot by using Word. And if you uh, have a look around for these little codes here, we send keys this code. And what that does is it screenshots only the currently active window. Because if we just do a regular screenshot, then we'll screenshot everything essentially right um, but we don't want to do that we just want the active window which is IE so there's a little trick for you that's that can often be a, a, a good trick if you're doing this so then we want to bring paint to the foreground so we activate paint and we save the image so here's us app activating what will obviously be an untitled paint uh, image at that point we can do a control V we do a control save we do a testing JPEG and then we shut it down uh, sorry, we uh, commit the save, rather. Um, close paint and IE. So here is, here's us closing, doing an app close on paint and doing an app close on Internet Explorer. And all of these subs get called in sequence. We open paint, we open IE, go to Google, we activate IE, we take a screenshot of just IE, we activate paint and save the image, and then we close paint and IE. That is the code, and that code is on the blog post, again, which I'll link to. So let's have a look at what that actually looks like. In fact, let me just kill the, uh, kill the sound on that because there's some background noise. So here we go. What? Here we go. <laughs> okay. So I'm taking a, a video here. We open Paint. We open IE, we go to Google, we bring it to the front, we take a screenshot, we paste that into Paint, and we open the Save dialog box, type that in, save it down, close Paint, close Google. Bingo, that's it. And that's what that code does. So it's as simple as that, except for the caveats of, you know, you need IE, you need um, Internet Explorer, you need Word, <laughs> you need a system where this will work. But as you can see, this this code works for capturing screenshot shots. So have a look at the blog post. The code is there. You can grab it. And there's a little narrative about what that code is doing as well. So hope that helps. Thanks a lot.